Okay, this is where we left off and played through number seven. Play through number eight is going to be a little grinding going through, so we leave two of these up. When you start to fight Sin on playthrough nine, if you want to skip the grind, uh, this is where we'll start one guy left. But if you want to watch me grind, it's the whole, I don't believe that grind through should be part of playthrough. So we're going to keep grinding here, and we are going to bring out Waka. Oh, I didn't mean to bring out him there. So we're going to keep attacking these little things, and, uh... He's just going to keep bringing them back. So while we grind, I'm going to talk about some of the things, of course. So it's a little... You get a little bit of something else about what's going on with, uh, my channel, and Square, and maybe some other things. I haven't decided yet. What? We hit the fin first? And we're gonna cast cheer five times. That'll help us, uh... Get a little benefit of the doubt here. I can already get him in one hit. Just let me get this cheer started and then we'll start talking about some. It's pretty much just hit X over and over again. She's hitting for 38. It's already so. Cheer twice. I should have let him cast cheer again, but I didn't. Huh. Third time. Overkills give us double the... So every overkill we get double. So we'll be getting a lot of spheres after this fight. It's a long fight. Let's get Waka out here. Yeah! can't stack over five tiers, so... So those who have been watching my channel, I've uh, been working a lot with uh, Hipsoft games. I've been going through their Build A Lot series and it's been real fun. Completely different from Final Fantasy. Uh, but I do that for more or less not just fun. This, this, this channel is just for fun. Uh, just to see that... Uh, See, pretty much see if I can do it or not. Um, well, you never know. I might, I might actually uh, find a PlayStation game that I'd like to feature one day and, and go through it. But other than Final Fantasy, uh, 
Final Fantasy is more, more or less just uh. Yeah. One of, one, just a goal that I always wanted to do is just sit through and play through one of these games, and I figured, hey, if I, uh, if I make a, if I make a playthrough with it on YouTube, I'd, I'd have to do it. If, uh, especially if people started watching it one more. And, uh, I have almost every game in the entire franchise, and I have yet to finally complete like the whole the whole game the boss of four when I was a little kid I had it on PlayStation uh, not PlayStation I had it on Super uh, Super Nintendo it was Final Fantasy 2 and the Super Nintendo was like one of the first cartridges that actually came out where you could like save and I never could figure out how you could save on a cartridge but you could do it uh, so I got pretty far and I got to the last guy and I couldn't beat him. Uh, I tried and tried and tried and I finally gave up. I said, ah oh, man, I got his name was Zara. I still remember his name and this was like 19... Ooh, 19 something. Maybe 94? I just remember playing and playing and playing. I probably didn't have everything because they didn't really have the internet. You couldn't just like Google up the game guide and say, where do I get all the, you know, stuff and where's all the stuff hidden? And so actually when I sat there and played through it, trying to figure out by myself. Uh, Final Fantasy 4, and then uh, I have the reason why I bought a PlayStation, the only reason why I bought a PlayStation, the first PlayStation, was to play Final Fantasy 7, and I played it. I to put 999 hours in the place of Final Fantasy 7. And yet again, I got the Sephiroth that could... But I, I, I bought the, I bought, they had game guides, the guide for it. Uh, but I guess I just couldn't follow it, or I didn't want to read it, or, or, or maybe I never bought it. I don't know. Uh, to get all the, uh, you know, the every single limit break and every single thing and Ultima weapons, and materia, and all that kind of stuff. I had every Materia Gem leveled out, I remember that, on, on, and that's, that's saying something for that, that time frame, uh, just couldn't get into 8. I really liked the story. It just was a, like, it was the first Final Fantasy where you didn't just sit there. I mean, it, it, it was more than levels and, and things like that. Kind of like this one is. Uh, they went back to the more traditional with 9, and I have 9. Uh, and I didn't play much of 9 either. I don't know why. And I actually bought uh, Final Fantasy IV, the original one. I bought it on my phone. So I was thinking, hey, I ought to play it on my phone. Nah, I never played it on my phone. And that game was like 10 bucks too on my phone. I <coughs> Excuse me. I never played it. Kind of crazy. I think they have six on the phone too. But uh, I bought, so then I bought a PlayStation 2 before this game came out. Maybe right when this game came out. It was pretty close. And of course, the graphics compared of this compared to 7, 8, and 9 on a play. And, and it was one disc. It wasn't like six discs. Oh, okay. It wasn't six discs. It was at least four. Please change disc or, you know, all that stuff. We didn't have to do any of that. Uh...
Island, so that was interesting. I bought a, a friend of mine, and I, I just couldn't get into it. Uh, Eleven, of course, being the online game, and it had a couple expansions, and uh, it, it was pretty successful for Square. Uh, and uh, right around then is when I started playing EverQuest. Really big. Uh, and that's all I did for a couple, for about five years. That was my life. I came home and played EverQuest. It was pretty sad. Uh, but I had fun. And I still have my character. It's, nah, I think they go up to a level. The next expansion takes it up to a level 105. It's a ridiculous amount of, you know. bring Lulu out for a little bit too before this grind so for some reason that went to full screen why I'm not too impressed with my capture card I'm not going to say who is it because I paid for it So far, I'm not very impressed. They promise all this uh, connection with XSplit. I don't know if any casters out there are familiar with uh, streamers or, or whatever you want to call yourself uh, are familiar with XSplit. This 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 uh, capture software is supposed to be compatible with XSplit, and I can't get it to work. Yeah, nice. We're gonna need Lulu for the boss anyway. Cause uh Well we're gonna overkill the boss. We'll have Lulu. Uh it's gonna be Lulu, Waka, and um Yuna. Veil 4 will get us the overkill. So, back to Final Fantasy, I was playing 11, and I played for about a day, and I just quit. I went back to EverQuest. And, mainly because I didn't have any friends in Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 11, all my friends were playing EverQuest, and...
I just, I just, I just didn't feel it. I didn't even leave the. I didn't. I don't think I even got out of the first little area. I, I didn't give it a chance. Uh, and um. Then I bought 12, and I didn't play it a lot at first. But after a while, I played it. I don't know, it was probably. It was way after X2 came out. 12 is by far my favorite Final Fantasy. 12 and 7. Or seven's a classic. So I, it's hard to say. Between well, the graphics and the gameplay of twelve, the uh, I can't remember what those things are called, where you could make your other players automatically and that kind of stuff, and you wouldn't have to. Uh, I don't know. Bounties and and I mean and the graphics. The graphics of 12, I think, were better than this one. I could be, I, I might be pushing that. I, I would think that the, I would say the graphics of 12 were were close, if not better than uh, than this one. Of course, of course, not this version. This. I mean, this one's digitally remastered. 12 isn't. I hope they do. I hope they do remaster 12 because I would play the crap out of that one. And it had the level scheme. And, uh, I'm not too. I'm not a big favorite of the Sphere Grid. I'm a big leveler fan, even though the Sphere Grid is kind of like levels, but it's not. But that's one thing about Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is all about grinding. Where Final Fantasy 13, there wasn't that much grinding to it, uh, and I didn't play too much of it. I played about half of it, and I never bought X13 uh, 2, and I never bought Lightning Returns. a Luna out here for a little bit. Just a little bit. I need to have her healthy though so that she can fight the boss. And here's the boss. Uh, when you're ready. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit it. Oh, Yuna has it. It's here. I think these are gonna be thunder. Be wrong. Yeah, that'll work. for the last fight, even though the final fight only has 2,000. It's Tidus. Oops. 
่าJust so I could have something else besides Knack to play. And the game I actually end up playing the most is a game that I downloaded my PlayStation Plus membership called Reso Gun, Reso Gun. And I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy playing it. I think I play Reso Gun more than I play anything else. Uh, I tried to get into, uh, and I can't remember the name of it. The first-person shooter that kind that came. It's a. It's like an MMO. I just can't remember the name of it. I tried to get into it, but I just I couldn't figure out the leveling scheme, and I couldn't figure out. You know, obviously it's a free free to play uh, game. That means if you want, if you want to be worth anything, you gotta pay. Uh, you, kind of how this whole free-to-play uh, mentality came about. And it's funny, there was a game a long time ago that came out that had its own, and it was a free-to-play game, but its own economy you could sell for real money. It would buy your real money. Or other people could buy your real money. So there wasn't really like... Like a lot of gold farmers and that kind of thing. Uh, and WoW, you know, you hear about all the poor little 12 year old kids that play WoW all night farming gold and, and all those nightmares. And this game kind of tried to eliminate that because you, you could sell your currency you know, for real money. It had a it had a real money value system. Because the company will be like, yeah, we'll, we'll buy your money. And I'm just thinking, well, how are they making money? Well, you could also buy money to buy things, and things apparently were uh, pretty expensive. And uh, I don't, 
Oh, I don't want to do that. I can't remember the name of that game either. But it didn't have a bad storyline or, you know, or... Or anything like that. Um... I can't remember the name of that game. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. If anybody's watching this. I haven't had too much success lately with these, but that's okay. I'm not doing this for views. I'm doing this for my own personal... I gotta play Final Fantasy. Who knows? Maybe I'll show my kids later. Hey, look what your old man used to do used to play this game on YouTube and talk to himself. So I'm really looking forward to 15 even though uh, I probably still won't be finished with this one when 15 comes out. The way I've been going. I'm surprised I'm, I'm, play, I'm on playthrough 8. I'm surprised I made it this far. That's just kind of the way I... Uh, but I've been a little more dedicated. I've got a complete game on my channel, and I, I was impressed. Uh, nobody's gonna, nobody might ever watch it, but uh, you know, I can tell myself I did it. Uh, I have over a hundred playthroughs on Yuta Sushi Chef 2, which is a fun game I like to play a lot, and Yuta Survivor 2, which is a fun game I like to play. I'm almost finished with that one. about 15 more minutes of grinding here and then we're gonna call it the boss and go on and play uh, play through eight we beat this boss and then we beat another boss and then we go to Killica and we're gonna save let's heal Titus Titus Do I have a... Oh, this is Tina's. So as I said before, you can sit here and do this over and over and over again all night. Uh, somebody said, there, there used to be a thing that you could get, and I know people had one in EverQuest, that would constantly move your mouse. Because you'd be, uh, there were things that you could farm, like foraging and things like that, that you could do. And put it on, a, uh, you know, go to sleep at night and have the computer do it all night. Uh, and then... Uh, so I wonder if you could somehow manage to find some kind of piece of something to sit here and hit X all night and then go to sleep and then wake up and have like a billion sphere levels. You'd have to have a... Uh, you'd have to have uh, Titus's, uh, Titus's haste uh, to do that. I don't have that because I don't use advanced spear grid. This is the first grinder. I'm probably not going to grind again until after I start playing Blitz Ball. Because I'd like to do a, a couple playthroughs and then do a blind and then a Blitz Ball. I like playing Blitz Ball. 
very important in the next few playthroughs that you get the check shot so that you can win blitz ball games. Thirteen and a half minutes of more grinding. It's gonna get us a good number of spear levels. Hopefully we have enough spheres. We'll get some spheres too. I saw a, a webcast, we were talking about that Final Fantasy XII uh, feature where that you could, uh, and I can't remember the name of it, but you could automatically program your characters to do certain things, like if a character was below 20%, it would auto, one of them would automatically cast heal, or and, and then you wouldn't, you know, you'd pretty much control one character and all the other ones were automized. But they were talking about, uh, Square Enix did a, uh, did their annual f I guess kind of like Sony does their fanfare and then Blitz does their their Blitz con uh, Sony uh, Square Enix did theirs and they had these two guys out there they didn't speak a lick of English and their translators were, were amazingly well at translating They were talking about some of the new technologies they were added into the, some of the bosses and uh, the patch, I think it's 2.6 of fi uh, Final Fantasy XIV, which I didn't even talk about yet. Um. that technology into some of the bosses and some of the things that uh, and I just started thinking of well, isn't that kind of the way all those games work you know something happens and then you know it triggers something else and it triggers something else I mean I haven't people been doing that for years with with and they weren't talking about using the character the characters having that ability because I mean, you're not controlling you know your other group I kind of thinking that's kind of how mercenaries work in EverQuest because they automatically start healing you at a certain percentage and, and automatically their DPS characters automatically start doing their thing or, you know, I don't know, it was weird. I was just thinking about that, how how, how crazy that, that uh, whole scene of events uh, works out. So anyway, I, I, I played Final Fantasy XIV and I really like it because it's kind of like... 
having all different kinds of characters into one because you can switch your class. And I kind of wish I would have dedicated a lot more time to it than I did, all, just like every other. I wish there was, I wish there was 48 hours in a day, so that I could have time to play all these games. <sighs> I, I. play a little bit of this, I play a little bit of that. I, I still pay for my subscription. My EverQuest subscription is still active. I haven't logged in in weeks. I used to do EverQuest on Twitch. Uh, I was kind of hoping that me and a friend could start a channel and, and talk about, you know, power leveling and, and people would watch it and and that's the thing about YouTube and all these uh, guides that you can put on YouTube for free uh, for people to watch for free they're all ad driven and, and don't hate the ads because that's what pays the people who make the videos uh, you know I know that they're annoying and they pop up and, and, and you can skip a lot of them uh, but you know if you really like what you're watching and you're watching someone's YouTube channel. Go to the bathroom with an add-on. You know they'll make a they'll make a little bit more money, and uh, you'll support their cause by going to the bathroom. I mean, you know. It could be the difference from. And you say, yeah, well, what's seven cents? Well, when you have, you know, I don't have this, but, you know, some of these videos have 40, 50,000 views. Seven cents and five cents make a lot of difference. It starts to add up. So. There's another game that they made for PlayStation 2. Square Enix made it. It was Squaresoft in those days. It's called Brave Fencer Musashi. And someone stole it from me. And I really wish I could find a copy of it on PlayStation 3 just, just to play it. Uh, I enjoyed playing it. Again, I never beat it. I don't ever beat games. <laughs> It's, it's kind of sad. I have all these games. I haven't beaten none. But you're so good at them. Oh, that wasn't it. She's hitting in the 40s now. It's getting stronger. I didn't pull her out yet. She can heal walk. Up. Yeah. Well, maybe if I can find Waka. There he is. That's the one thing I don't like about Final Fantasy 13. I cannot stand the targeting grid. This one kind of gets confusing sometimes. I'm just used to the big finger, you know? Remember the big finger from like Final Fantasy, uh... Well, even, even Final Fantasy 7, I think, had the big finger. Oh! <laughs> Alright, we only got about five minutes of this before I lose my mind. Bring T this back. 
back out here. I didn't like the sound of whatever that noise was. say that I'm a big fan of this uh, once again I'm, I'm not a big fan of my my capture card it's not very doing me justice I don't think it's even recording in HD which it should be couple more rounds here and we're going to end the grind through and move on and kill the boss. I'm not going to work. Well, yeah, I need to heal Titus because... Titus has to go on and fight Ishalise here in a minute. I don't know how you say that. The other... Their sin. Yeah, they keep coming. Actually, I want to. I want to replace him with uh, Kimari. Because Yuna is going to be part of the final battle here. Yeah. Kimari is not. She killed one! Yay! I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure my uh, my voice is not going on with what's going on on tape. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to end this uh, grind through right here, and I'm going to start the playthrough number nine, which is actually going to be the progression. If it'll let me press pause, and it won't. Okay, so we'll see you in playthrough number nine. Thanks for watching.